and let's do drum compress. High ratio, slow attack, fast release. So let's go to our dynamics. We're gonna do this all with a dynamic three. Now there might be a preset in here, so let's take a look here. Kick, thump, I like the idea of that. So we're gonna use the grabber, and then I'll just select the entire track. Notice that I select the snare track, but it'll play that in the kick drum. Doesn't require me to select the kick drum, the kick drum solo. Shooting for six to eight dB of compression, same thing applies. If you look here, it's happening pretty fast. A little fatter. Let's try our snare. Make sure I leave that. Grab a dynamic three. There'll be a preset here for snare comp. So we've got a high ratio, in this case three to one. Let's go, we're going a little bit higher. Slow attack and fast release. Notice we're not doing that much gain reduction. Let's pull the threshold down. So it's a lot louder. Let's use that gain knob. Still louder. Still. I made it a little bit louder. Let's back it off. I'm gonna it's still saying we're not compressing enough because where our attack is so slow. Notice I got some peaking, so I'm gonna clear that. Still pulling it down. So I'm gonna speed the attack a little bit up. Put in the 10 millisecond range. That takes care of that peak. So the attack was a little slower and part of the snare was still, still sneaking through. So we've got that. And we got that. And let's listen to our overheads. Let's listen to all that together. Definitely want to EQ my kick drum and my snare drum. Let's listen to the bass.